Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It's Monday, February 28th. Currently 28 degrees, going up to 41. It's uh, nice and sunny. Beautiful day. I think it's going to be a, a decent week. The last few weeks it's always been snow, rain, a mix. Today I'm smoking my Radice 40th anniversary, oh no, this is the Briar Blues 25th anniversary, um, Labatt, uh, contrast stain. I also have the Radice 40th anniversary, which is all, it's a, that's a billiard, but <clears throat> you've seen that pipe before many times. <clears throat> and in it today I am smoking John Cotton's Double Pressed Virginia. I got a couple years ago and um, I got it with a bunch of other tobaccos I had ordered I did like a giant order from Smoking Pipes just ordered you know 10 or 15 different blends and, and when you do that I've learned that it's not it's not great to do that unless you're planning on you know, opening one individually, smoking it, giving it its chance for like a week or so, and then moving on to the next. I've found that when I do that, and you have so many blends that you end up just kind of opening one, trying it, opening the next one, trying it, and then you might you might not give the the blend the attention that it needs or give it a chance, and like. I've done it many times where I come back to a blend that I got and I didn't think much of and then I was like wait this is really good and then I'm like oh well, I've learned over the years that it's kind of like uh, the thing I can equate like when you uh, I remember like when I used to get video games or a new console or I'd buy multiple video games and then you'd play one for a little bit, then you'd like open the next one and play that one, and then, then, then you're playing all these games at the same time, and you're not getting anywhere in any of them, um, and it's kind of like the same, the same thing, where it, it can definitely be in your best interest to, if you're gonna buy a bunch of blends if they're on sale or whatever, that's fine, but I would recommend just doing one at a time, unless you just know right off the bat, like, yeah, I don't like this blend, <laughs> on to the next one, but something I've figured out over the years. Um, this is definitely really smooth. It's kind of grassy. Got a little bit of that, like, fermented Virginia kind of tang. beginning of that age Virginia taste is what I can equate it to um, which I guess makes sense I mean this does probably have a couple years on it not that it's like anything crazy but I, I'm not sure <clears throat> when the blend what the date on the tin was so I uh I obviously I didn't make any videos. I put out that that little little video uh, just to let you know uh, where I I had been. <clears throat> um, the first time back to work since Wednesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday I just wasn't really f to feel on Tuesday. I wasn't really feeling too hot. Um, so and then I didn't go to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But the wife's feeling better. Uh, everything's kind of back to normal this week, which is a good thing. I don't realize how much you enjoy going to work. 
and having that break from the kids until um, you're at home for five days straight. <laughs> um, I don't know how my wife does it sometimes. I'll take going to work any day. So I don't know how people work from home. That would drive me crazy. Just nice to have that, you know, somewhere to go to break up the day and not get out, you know, not have that monotony of just being in, being at home the whole time. And if you have kids, especially younger ones, of uh, getting a little break from the kiddos too. good smooth it's uh it's nothing crazy you know nothing super standoutish about it but it's uh it's definitely a good smooth kind of a darker virginia blend saturday i went down to uh uh Lou Liga's, which is a Really cool cigar lounge and shop <clears throat> down in Fishtown. It's right behind uh, Fillmore and North Bowl, and it's above the Philadelphia Distillery, which is really cool. It's actually like a loft above that distillery, so you can you can actually bring drinks up, you can bring food up, um, which is really cool. And then they uh, they just opened up. I had never been down there, and when I turn the corner I saw lines of like people just lined up and I'm like what the hell are they what the hell is that to I thought maybe it was like a, I didn't know what it was I didn't know what that building was and um, apparently there's a brewery called Other Half Brewing which uh, I believe was based out of New York and now they just opened this new flagship uh, brewery restaurant store or whatever um Right, right there, and um, apparently there've been lines like all week <clears throat> trying to get their their stuff. Apparently they got really good people come from all over the country, from what I was what I was told. But um, I don't. I've been out of the the uh, the beer game, especially the craft beer game. I mean, even when I drank beer, I mean I was always into like the the craft side, but it wasn't like it is now with all the like microbreweries everywhere and all the special, you know, the hard to get stuff and people paying like 70, 80 bucks for a four pack, like crazy stuff. But it is a kind of neat area right there. Um, it's not hard to get to. You get right off 95 North. You loop around. <clears throat> um, right on uh, Frankfurt Ave. <clears throat> So they redid 95. I haven't been down there in like a long time. But it was cool. But anyway, um, yeah, this stuff's pretty good. Uh, I, they always have it on sale. It seems like it's always, it, I don't think it's a very popular blend. I think of it blended by Russ Roulette. Um, I feel like it's always they always have this stuff on sale. Like, I think there's a Virginia, a Kentucky, maybe like an English or a Latakia. whether I'm gonna buy a blend <clears throat> or you know cellar it you know I'm not gonna buy a blend that I'm like if I want to smoke a Virginia 
I would have, this would have to be like the tenth option that I'll never smoke it. So. So being a uh, a diehard 76ers fan, um, this week's been amazing with the uh, acquisition of James Harden. Um, they've looked unbelievable the last two games, their first two games. What did Harden have yesterday? 29 points, 16 assists, and like 10 rebounds. Like an insane triple-double. It's nice to finally see two stars on the Sixers. I mean, when we had AI, there was a hodgepodge of, like, role players. Tyrone Hill, Theo Ratliff, Eric Snow, Aaron McKee. Um, you know, we had Chris Webber with him, but he was, like, the, the skeleton, <laughs> the corpse of Chris Webber. He was so washed up by the time he got here. So it's nice to see, you know, I think two of the top ten players in the NBA on the same team. It's going to be super exciting going forward. It's much see, much watch TV, much see TV if you're a sports fan, especially if you're a basketball fan, but I digress. But anyway, guys, that's all I really got for you today. Uh, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be able to go into work and smoke a pipe and make a video <clears throat> so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow over on the new age pipe smoker channel I believe we just hit 600 subscribers over there so that's uh, we're adding subs pretty quick which is awesome to see be even better if some of the other uh, slouch admins won't mention any names, Curtin and Macaulay <clears throat> would, um, would make some, some videos, but what are you going to do? But anyway, you guys have a great day. Have a great start to your week. I hope everybody's doing well. And remember the left lane is for passing. See you guys.